Hi, this is Janice from Space to Relax and the video you're about to watch is a replay of a live class I taught on Zoom. These classes are free of charge for everyone to join, so please invite your family and friends. They're suitable for beginners and those of you with more Qigong experience. If you're watching this video on YouTube, then please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I hope you enjoy the class. Hi everyone, and you're very welcome to the class today. Today's class, I actually made for myself. I didn't, um, I didn't get a suggestion from anybody through for this week as a topic for Qigong. And I was out this morning, I was swimming in the open water, no wetsuit, for 3.8 kilometers. Because for those of you who don't know me, I'm an open water swimmer and I'm training for an eight kilometer swim, which is hopefully gonna happen this month. So I came out of the water and I felt okay, but the cold is the thing that's really tiring. So I felt like I was really tired, but then I have a day's work to do. So I had to just kind of crack on and get on with my day. And I didn't really have time to rest. I didn't have time to do a full session of Qigong. But what I did have time for was this, which is a quick Qigong recharge. So this is the kind of exercise and the little kind of little routine you can do it in three minutes. Three minutes would be the kind of minimum you need. You can extend it out though if you want to make it into a whole Qigong routine. So this is my way of what I did this morning in order to recharge my batteries. So this class is a Qigong recharging session. And we're going to start either from a sitting or from a standing position. You can, um, you can swap halfway through as well. So just have a chair next to you and just be comfortable. That's the main thing. Don't feel that if you're standing that you're going to be getting tired. Have the option to sit down. So this exercise, or the, the, the main exercise within this routine, is called embracing the, tri embracing the tree or standing like a tree. So those of you who have practiced some Qigong before, will be familiar with this exercise. It's also a practice in Tai Chi, I believe. Um, it's quite a famous exercise. And the reason for that is that it's so effective. So what's happening is you're standing still and it looks like you're doing nothing. But what's happening on the inside is that the Qi or the energy is moving in a really powerful way to unblock any areas where the Qi may be stagnated, which can cause tiredness and exhaustion and a feeling of fatigue. And also it's very mentally calming. It calms mind chatter. The other very physical function of this exercise is that it's used to strengthen the quadriceps muscles, the, the muscles of the thighs in particular. And you'll see why when I demonstrate it, and if you're going to follow along with me, you'll see why when you practice it for longer, how it can be very powerful and very effective at building up leg strength and also balance as well. So we're going to begin. As I said, either in a sitting or a standing position. So for those of you who are new to these live classes and have never done them with me before, I put links to previous classes which I taught on just solely on sitting and standing positions. So you can refer back to those as well when I send out a replay for this video. So begin in your standing or your sitting position. So what you want to make sure of in either position is that your feet are hip width distance apart and that the feet are parallel. Also pay attention to your big toes and the ball of the foot, that pad just behind your big toe. And just check that you have good kind of solid pressure on the big toe area. Often what happens is we allow our big toe, the, the weight to lift off the big toe and to allow the feet almost to move out to the side. The big toe lifts off the ground. So we don't feel quite so solid. So really focusing, focusing a little bit just now on your big toe and just make sure that it's firmly pressed into the ground. What you also can do is just roll out a little bit in the knees. So the knees roll out to the side, still keeping the big toes in contact with the ground. And this creates a lovely kind of openness in between the legs so that the chi can flow. The knees are slightly bent. 
and also checking that the pelvis is tilted forward so you don't have too much of a rounding or a, a hollowing sorry in the lower back area you don't want this really be curving the lower back what you want is the lower back to be fairly straight so the pelvis is tucked under and you've got this lovely openness in the vertebrae of the lower back the shoulders are relaxed so just relaxing the arms down you may want to just pick them up and drop them pick them up and drop them a few times just to check that you've got lovely distance between the ears and the shoulders and just shaking out the hands letting go of any tension in the hands and the arms check that there's length in the back of the neck so tuck the chin back towards the throat so in the backwards direction back towards the throat and as you do that you'll feel this lovely length in the back of the neck and then close your eyes close your mouth and let the tongue rest against the roof of the mouth with the tip of the tongue resting against the back of the upper teeth breathing in and out through the nose unless you have any issues with sinus blockage or you have a cold in which case you may need to use the mouth for breathing generally speaking in qigong we're breathing in and out through the nose bringing a smile to the corners of your mouth and settling into your practice today with some abdominal breathing so as you breathe in Feel the lower belly expand, pushing outwards to the front, to the sides, and back towards the spine. So as though you're blowing up a balloon, expanding in all directions. And then as you breathe out, feeling that balloon shrinking, getting smaller. So with your eyes closed, settling into your practice now, and releasing any tension that you feel in the body, in the muscles, in the joints, each time you exhale. So you may want to say to yourself in your mind, as you exhale, relax or let go. Whatever comes to mind, just have a little word which will help you to let go of any tension in the physical body. And also, letting go of any tension and busyness in your mind. So bringing your mind to the breath in this way is often enough for you to be able to do that. So whenever you feel any thoughts creeping in, just gently bringing your attention back to the breath. Breathing in, the belly expands. Breathing out, relaxing and letting go of any tension. So this practice of abdominal breathing is the basis of many, many Qigong exercises. And you can review that in an earlier class which I taught. So this practice brings you into what's called the Qigong state. So it's preparing you for the rest of your practice so that the exercises you perform will be of much more benefit to your health. And now just opening your eyes for a moment so that you can see me. So this exercise of embracing the tree can be performed from a number of different stances. So you can just stand as you are like this. You can also do it from a sitting position. If you feel like you can, you may get tired or you have any issues with your balance, you can sit down and practice this. 
And you can also practice it from a different stance, which is called a horse stance or just a wider stance. So if you feel like you want to develop some leg strength right now and you know that you, you know, you're able for it, you may want to just step out to the side and you can be maybe just about kind of just more than shoulder width distance apart. The feet are still parallel, the knees push out to the side, okay? So you can stand in this way. Again, just checking that your pelvis is forward, your, your backside is tucked under. Or you can go even wider if you prefer. But I will say to you now, you're going to be here for about three minutes. So just judge for yourself what you're able for in terms of your own leg strength. Because it is really lovely if you can stay in a static position once you adopt the embracing the tree posture. So I'm not going to go for this because I don't think I'm able for it today. I'm just going to go maybe a little bit wider than a hip width distance apart and then just bending the knees, pushing them out. So don't allow the knees to fall in like this. It's putting too much strain on your ligaments. So just keeping the feet parallel and a slight bend in the knees. So just check that you're comfortable. Again, paying attention to the ball of the foot and that big toe area. So make sure you've got good contact to the big toe and the pad just behind the big toe with the ground, with the floor. And from here now, just working with your abdominal breathing again, a few breaths in and out. And now with the hands, what you're going to do is just gently Float them up towards shoulder level. The wrists are higher than the elbows. And then turn the palms to face each other. Fingers and wrists are very soft. So no tension in the fingers. And the hands are maybe six to eight inches apart from each other. And now you're just going to stand and embrace the tree. So close your eyes, close your mouth, breathing in to your lower abdomen, this area that we call Dantian, which is your chi or your energy center. Just check for a moment now that your shoulders are nice and relaxed to make any last little adjustments before you hold everything still. And we're going to be here for about three minutes. So as you're standing and embracing the tree, what you're doing physically is really grounding yourself through your feet. So feeling the pelvis tucked under, feeling strength in the thighs, a bend in the knees, feeling the contact of the feet, especially the soles of the feet with the ground. So feeling heavy and solid, really from the hips down, feeling like you have this lovely solid foundation to support you. And then from the lower abdomen up, feeling light, feel as though the whole torso is extending towards the sky or the ceiling, getting taller, feeling light. Lovely length in the back of the neck by tucking the chin back towards the throat. Now in your mind, think that you are a tree. So you're embracing a tree, but think of being a tree. And have a tree is a great analogy for really feeling the whole effects of chi circulation throughout the body. So now focus on your roots. So think of the soles of the feet. And imagine 
imagine that you're growing roots down into the ground. So think of the ground or the earth below your feet, four inches down, six inches down, one foot down, maybe a few, few meters down. Really feel your roots growing into the earth or into the ground. And feeling as though your legs and your arms are the branches of the tree. Extending very freely and easily from the torso of your body. And thinking of the top of your head as the very canopy of the tree able to absorb energy and sunlight from above and draw it down into your body to warm and nourish and energize you. Breathing into the lower belly, feeling it expand, breathing out, feeling it shrinking. I'm sure that's our three minutes up. So from here, very gently now, just bring the hands in. So maybe open your eyes for a moment. Just bringing the hands in, floating them down towards the lower abdomen area so that you place one hand over Dantian, over the lower abdomen, the other hand directly on top of that. And if you've stepped apart more than hip width distance, then just step together very gently. And just settle into your regular Qigong stance. And then turn the hands out so that they're sitting in front of the body, one palm on top of the other. And we'll just finish with a few circles just to consolidate this exercise and smooth the flow of Qi through the body. So moving the chi in the four directions. So moving the hand, hands away from each other, palms facing up, turning the fingers out, so moving and encouraging the chi to flow outwards with this movement. And then keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed, lifting, encouraging the chi to move up. And then when the hands reach shoulder level, Gathering chi in, making an upside down V shape with your hands, draw your elbows together, drop your shoulders, and you'll see that the palms of the hands come to face each other. And then drawing the hands down through the midline towards Dantian in the lower abdomen. And two more circles now in your own time. Maybe close the eyes if you're confident and you've done this movement before. And for those of you who've never done this before, check the link to this exercise in the replay that I send out from this class. Aiming for this movement to be as smooth and fluid as possible. Just breathing normally, not being concerned about where the inhale or the exhale is here. And the slower you perform this movement, the more sensation of chi you may experience in your hands and your arms. And that can be felt as tingling, warmth, sometimes coolness. Maybe it feels like your hands are swollen, like they're bigger than they usually are, or heavier. When you finish your third circle, keeping the eyes closed, just again place one hand over the lower belly with the other hand directly on top of that. Come back to your abdominal breathing, breathing in and out through the nose. 
Feel the belly expand as you breathe in and shrink as you breathe out. Now keeping the eyes closed, bring the hands together and rubbing the palms in front of you until they get really, really hot. Rubbing them together. Keep smiling. And when you feel lovely heat in your hands, place one palm over each eye, fingers facing up towards the sky or the ceiling, feeling the heat from the hands. Going into the eyes, through the back of the eyes. Nourishing the eyes on the way through and then nourishing and calming the mind. When you feel the heat dissipate, just bringing yourself back into the room by rubbing the face up and down, giving yourself a little face massage, face wash. And as you do that, gently opening the eyes. Allow your hands to drop, drop down by your sides and just give the hands a shake out. So that's our chi recharging or rejuvenating exercise today. today. And you, you noticed there that obviously I was teaching it to you, so it takes a little bit longer just to explain everything to you. But you can just do that standing like a tree exercise by beginning with just three abdominal breaths. Make sure you're in the correct stance or the correct sitting position for you that's comfortable. And then you can do that exercise for between maybe three minutes or for people who are much more advanced and experienced with Qigong, they can actually stand like this for up to 45 minutes. So you can see then how this would be a really useful leg strengthening exercise as well. But often with this particular posture, the longer you stand there, the more interesting Qigong things start to happen in terms of being able to calm your mind, being able to become much more aware of what's going on internally inside your body in terms of Qi flow. So as always with any of these classes, if you have any questions, please ask me or any observations that you notice with the Qi flow, you can contact me by email. My, my email is Janice at space to relax.com. Or you can leave a comment in the Facebook group, which is a Space to Relax Free Qigong group. So if you're not in that group already, I'll put the link next to it in the replay for this video. Um, so you can, by all means, get in contact with me. I'd love to hear from you. Also, I'm sure most of you know these classes are completely free of charge. So please invite your friends and family to join if you think they might enjoy them. But if you would like to, and you're under no obligation at all, if you'd like to, you can donate. And 50% of the donations go to the nurses in the ICU work ward here in my local hospital. The other 50% goes towards the upkeep of my website. And uh, for those of you who've donated already, we raised, so far, we've raised 250 euro for the nurses. And for those of you who were with me before when we were raising money for the lifeboat for that week, when I did the across the bay swim, between us, just for that week, we raised 350 euros. So I gave the check to my swim coach just the other day. So he's delighted with that. So thank you so much for those of you who, to those of you who donated already. That's brilliant. So um, as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you enjoyed this Qigong lesson, then there are four things you can do right now. The first thing is to head over to my website, which is spacetorelax.com, and there you'll see that you can join up for a free three-part video series. The second thing you can do is click the link next to this video to sign up for the live Qigong classes, as I teach these once a week. The third thing you can do is go over to Facebook, if you're on Facebook, and look for Space to Relax Free Qigong Group. That's my free group where you can post any questions and please do join the group. And the fourth thing is if you're watching this video on YouTube, then please hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and look forward to seeing you in the next video.